All right, we're recording. Say hi, husband. Hi. Oh, okay. Here it is. What? I was like, where's my thing? Here's my. Ugh. The That's tools of my trade. It is, it is. It's only been, you know, a week or so, and I actually haven't opened it that much because I've been on vacation. So, um, also, I'm getting stickers and things. Um, we're inside the house again, which means that I'll be able to do the, uh, the lines instead of waiting around. Um, wait, that's not... That doesn't even make sense. Instead of having to do them um, horizontally and you guys can't see. So, we are planning for Monday the 29th of November. It is actually the 29th of November right now, but we're still on vacation these two days. Um, so, I don't have that much to do um, obviously today or tomorrow. Technically, I have a meeting tonight at 7.30. I may or may not be there. Um, I think today might be a Costco day. Ooh, yeah. Because there are a number of things on this list that Costco sells that I can buy in bulk, like chicken and refried beans. Nice. And potentially bone broth. Yeah. If they have the right kind. Yeah. We have to buy special bone broth for our dogs. Well, we have to buy special, special broth for our dogs, specifically bone broth. Specifically bone broth that is true bone broth and doesn't have anything added to it. Yeah. Because stock almost always has other stuff in it and it's usually stuff like garlic that we don't want to give to dogs. Yeah, I also realized that there's an RFP that came in while I was on vacation and it's due, um, the application is due tomorrow if I want to get it in. Mm -hmm. And I do have, I don't have to do that much but I do have to do something to it tonight if I want to get it in. Thinking tonight, I uh, am going to try and make a whole bunch of breakfast burritos that we can freeze. Because mm -hmm. um, we've got all that breakfast sausage. And that'll make breakfast a lot easier. <coughs> oh. Um. Sorry, someone um, made a proposed change to my calendar and I said yes. So actually these guys are changing right now. I'm sorry, did you say something about breakfast sausage? I'm gonna make a bunch of breakfast burritos. Ooh, yum. And then freeze them so that we can eat those. Yes, I really love that idea. Thank you. Sorry, I was like looking at my calendar and I was like, what is this weird note? Okay, now huh, my day on Wednesday is a little bit fraught. Not badly fraught, but there's just a lot going on in the morning. Well, before lunch, basically. But that's that. Okay. 2 p.m. What's that? That's uh, the hour right after 1 p.m. No, I just, I have this weird thing in my calendar. 
at 2 p.m. Okay. And 4 p.m. Oh. Two p.m. over here. We've got newsletter and another thing. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how good this feels. What? I almost want to cry. It's so good. So I've been on vacation for a week, and I'm on vacation today and tomorrow. My calendar filled out without me. I wasn't there, I didn't do shit, and I've gotten all these other things on my calendar now. Nice. Because uh, I just, I, I love this. <laughs> it makes what? me so happy. I'm glad you're happy, dear. Yeah, it just feels really nice to be able to... I don't know, just work with it, work like in a team structure again. Like it's really only me and Kate who work at New Coyote right now. And sometimes we take on contractors, um, you know, so it's not always us by ourselves. Yeah. But it's just, it feels really good to be able to feel like I'm not alone and that we're both doing this, we're all doing this together, you know? Mm, yeah. Um, obviously the contractors don't have the same, um, the short-term contractors don't have the same like stake in this, but it's just really nice to be able to be like, man, we've got, I've got, I don't know. I always feel like it's hard sometimes to feel like I have people on my side. And I think that's kind of like the way I grew up in other things. But, oh, and also, <laughs> spoiler alert, this is last week. So you saw me plan this week last time. Um, obviously, I didn't do much recording as soon as we went on vacation. That's okay. I did some little recording around, like, family Thanksgiving and the things that we did and, like, what we ate and stuff like that. Um, I bought new Doc Martens. This is so important because I've literally never bought new Doc Martens before in my life. And I own a ton of Doc Martens. So I've always gotten them used. And I just felt like it was time that maybe I buy some new shoes <laughs> <laughs> instead of used shoes. I mean, Doc Martens are sturdy enough that you can buy them used. Like, I have some used Doc Martens I bought when I was 16 that are still in rotation. They still get worn. So, you know, they're good shoes and they last a long time if you take care of them. And also, I got new ones, and I'm very excited. Yeah, They're just the cool. standard, like, black and yellow, but I like them very much. Oh, but they have the Ziggy, so the Ziggy Sole. I liked the Ziggy Sole a lot. Um, doesn't They were the only ones that were wide enough to fit my feet, the ones with the Ziggy Sole, but I still liked it. I didn't just buy them because they were the only ones that fit. Um, anyway... So yeah, that's Thanksgiving. That's what it ended up looking like. We actually went on a hike yesterday with our friends, so I didn't do the budget. Um, I should probably like note that. I wonder if this, this is the adulting happy planner sticker. I wonder if it has like a hike sticker. Mm -mm -mm, winning, yay you adulted, kicked today's butt. Oh fudge. What dear? I totally forgot that I have a call with a potential new therapist today at 3.30. Today? Yeah. Oh. Kind of fucks up my plans for the afternoon. Well, we can still go to Costco. Well, I mean, if I'm going to do one thing before that, it would be go to that wood shop because that's the thing that would close. Yes, that's like, what you should do. Costco close? 
seven. I cooked for myself. Yeah, they close at 8.30, so. So you can go to Costco after the therapist. Yeah. Still, in retrospect, I wish I hadn't scheduled that that way. Yeah, well, I don't know if we knew at the time that you scheduled it that it was going to be. I did, I just didn't think about it. Oh. Well, it's okay. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Nope. So I've got a thumbs down sticker and a nope sticker because I dislike hiking. And I thought we were going to a nice flat little park and instead we went on a crabby fucking hike. And, um, and that sucked. But then we went out for pizza afterwards, so that was fine. Let's see. I did that instead of budgeting. That's okay. Nope. And thumbs down. Oops, a hike. Oops, all hills. <laughs> That's totally what it was. Ah. We, so I wanted to go, this is a problem that happens in Portland because we do have a lot of like hilly areas. I wanted to go and, um, and like, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like go to, go on a walk, like go on a nice stroll. That's what I wanted. Sorry, I had to walk away because I need to get a pizza sticker. I need a pizza sticker, okay? I'm doing okay. It, of course. I just like the idea of needing a pizza sticker. Like that's like the most important thing. <laughs> Some strange things are important to people. This is true. Anyway, here's the pizza. And then let's get that label. Um, but I just wanted to go on a nice walk. And this happens a lot in Portland, especially for someone like me who's like not that knowledgeable about the local fauna um is that i will be like oh i'm gonna look at pictures online of this place i also forget where i've been because i had been to this place before and it was not it's not <laughs> there's nothing flat about it but my brain was like it's fine um I just wanted to go on a walk in a nice park, a nice flat park where we could sit and hang out. And I went with a, my first mistake was I invited one of our more athletic friends. We don't have a lot of athletic friends. And I'm gonna Draw an arrow so, I don't know, past me knows that I went to pizza with the same people. Anyway, but we went with one of our more athletic friends <laughs> um, who doesn't think of himself as athletic. This is the problem. When you have friends who don't think they're athletic, but they are, they don't take into account that you are not. And they will just fucking power up a goddamn hell like there's some kind of digger. And it it's... It, I, no bueno. No me gusta. I don't know how actually to say the word hate in Spanish, but I hate it. Or if I did, I've forgotten. Hey Siri. How do I say I hate it in Spanish? In Spanish, I hate it is lo odio. Lo odio. Lo, yo lo odio. I mean, that's two words. It's lo and odio. Lo odio. Which makes sense. Same root word is like odious, I'm guessing. Mm. Lo? 
I don't know what low means. Weird. So do you so say yo low audio, or do you say low audio, and the low is like a modification of yo? I can only tell you what Siri just told me. And Siri translated, I hate it, as lo odio. Mm -hmm. I don't know that much about Spanish and how it constructs stuff. I know that sometimes you can put like a thingy. Oh, oops, I did it again. Oh, no, wait, no, I didn't. Haha, -ha, I remembered. Because this line is too low. I like how I think I'm doing it wrong when I'm actually doing it right. Story of my <laughs> fucking life, man. But, um, like, in English, if you didn't want someone to touch you, you would say, don't touch, or no touch, or don't touch me. But in Spanish, if you don't want someone to touch you, you say, no me tocas. Don't me touch. And I think you can get away with being like, no tocas. <laughs> but that hey, just means no touches. I keep thinking you're saying tocas. Tocas. No tocas. No tocas. <laughs> Just Spanish for keep your hands off my tuckus. <laughs> we're very, we're very tuckus, tuckus concerned. No. Um, okay. The secret Spanish is actually Thanks just Yiddish. Me. All right. Well, I'm all done. What really? Yeah. Oh, I need. I forgot. I'm not going to turn it again, but I need a new line. I am all planned out. And you've made all your lists and everything? Yep. Fuck. I mean, I should probably be done too, because if you're done, that means that we don't have that much more time on the screen, on the film. Well, 18 minutes. We're about almost 18 minutes in. I was faster than usual. I'm going to try and practice some calligraphy. So, top line is friends. Friends. Trust and movement. Okay. Come on, calendar. Come back to life. But anyway, all of this Spanish stuff is compounded by the fact that I don't actually speak Spanish fluently. So there's just like a ton of... Sometimes I have people's birthdays in my phone and I, or my calendar and I don't know who they are. But then people I do know who they are, I don't have their birthdays in my calendar. Also, my Mac is about to fall asleep. Whoa. Oh, and remember we're doing this with the hours. Is this? Um, we're doing the wake up hour. This is a lot, these squares. I need to figure out how to how to convey this without drawing 17 fucking squares every week. <laughs> I mean they're they're 14 squares, but still. Um how do I convey this? How do I convey this in a way that I can move this? I know. 
I'll just do this. That way, because this is a erasable pen, I can erase it and put new boxes somewhere else if I need to. I also like the psychology around erasing it because it shows me that I'm taking time away from my process. For someone else's and it acknowledges that I need to um, put my time back where it goes. Hmm, actually, uh, cancel. Come on, buddy. My digital calendar just went bonkers. So I'm not entirely sure what. It's a little hot in here. I'm kind of sweaty. Really? It just stuck to my calendar. Mm. I'm just going to open the window a little bit. Okay. Front left window. Thanks, robot. Oh, actually, that's a little longer now. And then this guy has to go here. Can you guys hear the rain through the recording? It's not raining very much, though. No, it's just super 4 p.m. Wow, why do I keep... putting meetings... in my food times. Monday, the 6th, is going to be a heckin' chonk of a day. <laughs> 7.30. And I think I sort of talked about moving this get ready thing, because I realized that in general, it takes me about three hours to wake up fully. I am not a morning person. That's not where my talents lie. And so in a perfect world, I require three hours of wake up time. Which means that and one of those hours is eating breakfast. Um, that's really sort of like my ideal. And if I, um, two to three, if I have meetings in my getting ready time, that means I have to move getting ready down because I still have to take care of myself. Like it's important to be able to accommodate people and not have to be no, you know, not be super unflexible. And also I have to take care of myself first. So that is what's the most important thing. Um, is taking care of myself. Okay, and yes. Oh, that's the thing that's in my calendar because of someone that's not me. Awesome. 2, 2, 2 p.m. Do 
Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. That's also why I'm writing like snack and lunch around when I skip lunch so that I remember that I'm I'm moving something that's important to me. I'm not replacing it. And then 5.30. Oops. And I have to do this actually because that happens at 5.30. I have to make lunch half an hour. Conch. <laughs> All right, and then because I have an eleven AM here. So, for example, I am not going to be getting ready until exactly 2 p.m., but I'm taking that hour to get ready so that I can be available for my 2 p.m., which is a digital meeting. How much are we on time? Okay, we're getting in there into the 30-minute mark. Um... But like I said, this is a super new system. I instituted it basically like the day I left for vacation for Thanksgiving. So it's really not like been tested. Um, as I use it, I'll figure out like where the kinks are and where to like, you know, work them out. And then... Oh, a Zoom meeting? Oh, family Zoom. We have family Zoom on Friday the 10th. Scheduled for Friday the 10th. Mm. I'll put it in, but we should text everybody. Yeah. And be like, are we still down for this? I mean, we could talk about Christmas. We probably have more cemented Christmas plans by then. Yeah. Um, and then, normally I would have book club here, but... My friend's baby is due, <laughs> like, in this week. So <laughs> we've already pre-canceled book club. We know um, that that's probably not going to happen. But I should move date night to Saturday. Um, and I'll move it on the digital calendar as well. Yeah, that's the weekend. I already put my little weekend stencil. It's very messy. I got all these stencils and I'm trying to use them, but honestly, like, I don't know if it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, all right, oh, and I've gotta move, get ready on my digital calendar down so that it makes sense. All right, everybody. So that's two weeks ago. That's last week. This is right now, the week we're in. And then next week, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.